I want to skydive. Some people want to have their balls hang a little bit lower, you know? I'm gonna always... get caught in this book. Yes! Oh! Oh! What is up my friends and welcome to it's to me Uncensored where I'm gonna give you my uncensored truth from my balls straight into your faces and from his balls into your faces and today I'm here with uh, Justin um, Jet like that Jet like yeah. that You got it you know oh, you so guys, to give you some background, this is Justin Jetlikow or something like that and he's known for literally modifying every single part of his body, his muscles, his pecs, his shoulders. It's all implants that Justin designed for himself. That's why people call him the human Kendall. So in this video we sat down with him, we talked about his motivation, we talked about life and we, we talked a lot about dicks. It's just a common topic on my channel nowadays so I'm just gonna embrace it. So a lot of dick talk. I hope you enjoy it, like and subscribe. <laughs> you look great, you look ripped, you know what I mean? Thanks. But like, none of the muscles you have are, are real. So you have- I mean, they're really mine now. <laughs> yeah, they are, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, augmented a lot of my muscles. Okay, yeah. so I'm curious, like, how, what's the functionality? Like, can you, you can move and sh you can, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I could work out if I wanted to. Okay. I don't, I don't really, but I could. You don't work out? I haven't been in the gym in about 10 years. Shit, 10 years! Yeah. Okay. I don't know, it's not my thing. Okay. I like, if I work out, I just get tighter. I don't ever seem to gain any mass. One thing I'm very known for and famous for, you know, like my biggest skill and talent in life is uh, peck dancing. You know? Peck bouncing. Peck okay. bouncing, yeah. yeah. Can, can you That's peck bounce? Sport. No, Do mine, you... mine go down. Like, like... Oh, but they're still like, that's crazy, it looks so... But there's still contraction happening. Yeah, because they're inside the muscle. So okay. they're, they're inside the middle, like the meat of the muscle. That's that's So your muscle can grow around it still. Okay. Yeah. But that's crazy. No, they don't go up, they just go down. Ah, uh, yeah, you gotta get with the I time. Feel, I feel self No interview with your me is complete without it being shirtless. Okay. But those right. aren't implants? Are, huh? are you sure those aren't implants? No, they're not. But like, okay. The, yeah. All right, they feel pretty natural. Yeah? Yeah. Could you tell us? So you're like an expert, right? Well, it's funny because when I look at other men who have like developed bodies in my brain, I'm like, oh, like how did they get their implants to look like that? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so Okay, the question, actually, because yeah. you're also doing advice. You're advising people on like uh, consulting people, right? Yes. Okay, so if you look at me, can you do a consultation on me? Well, you'd have to tell me something that you wanted to work on and then I'd be open to talk to you about it. But okay. I don't like to just like, instill doubt in somebody gotcha, where there gotcha. isn't, right? So yeah, if yeah. you know something that potentially you think you want to change, you don't have to know 100% how you want to change it, yeah. but to say, hey, I'd like it to look a little more like this, or here's a photo of something that I'd prefer to look a little more like, okay, okay. then I can work with that. But I'm not going to be someone to pick somebody else apart. Yeah. It, it feels like you just work out, you're just pumped up, you know, you're swollen. Like, shoulders you see how it's under the muscles, so the muscles yeah. move around it. That is fascinating. But I was the first person in the world to do three shoulder implants, uh, back implants. Okay. Now I'm doing leg implants. Okay, so what was your first ever thing you did, ever did? Uh, first, first thing I did was my nose. I had a nose job when I was 18. Uh, I picked my doctor when I was 17 years old. My parents wouldn't condone it, so they wouldn't sign off on it. So I prepaid yeah. it, and three days after I turned 18, then I had my surgery. Yo, downtown LA, can you please shut the fuck Whoa. up? I'm trying to vlog here. Who has the big willies? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Who has I'm gonna just read them. I don't know. Do you, I didn't get to see anybody else's today, just my own. I saw plenty of yours. <laughs> you I love it. Yeah, I love yeah. like, As a model, you have to be like cool to get naked and yeah, change for sure. and all yeah, of yeah. that in front of people. Yeah, so, for sure, yeah. I mean, today was like I mean, an extreme of that. And I love that because you know when you meet somebody, we just met a few days ago, you know? Yeah. And I love how like we're like at a level of comfort where I can wrap your dick with saran wrap and That's I think it's a very bonding experience. It was a bonding experience. So, guys, if you sure. want to bond with somebody, <laughs> if you meet somebody new, just wrap them up wrap, naked. Wrap them up naked. It'll bring you closer That's together. It. Have you ever been in a street fight? No. No, my body's too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much money have you spent in total on, 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 like, on you? Everything? I'm easily at the value of $150,000. Oh my god. Yeah, if then you include everything. Uh, are you like tax insured or no. something? No. You can try to insure your body, but I looked into it, and if you insure your body, they really limit the things that you're allowed to do in your life. Oh, like you I can't see. go on cruise ships, like you couldn't go skydiving, like you couldn't and you go like, hang, like, you like your cruise ship. I'm an adrenaline right? junkie. You like your, I love that yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, love I mean, I love your energy. Your energy is so high. Yours too. Do you do a lot of. I know, but like you're also like, you know, we're waterboarding you, but you're like super, you know, happy about it and stuff, you know? <laughs> Okay. I can't believe it. 
I've, I've known this guy for two days. I'm already waterboarding you. I'm so oh, sorry. I'm oh, so I did sorry. that with someone last I'm so week. <laughs> I did, actually. It's a reason. Well, I mean, I want a cool image. Yeah. Okay? So what are you gonna, whatever you do to, at the end of the day to get it, like, yeah. that's what I'll do. Yeah. Okay, sure. I like that, I like that. How do you pay for all the stuff you Oh, that's the age-old question. Right? I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know, and I, I wanted to make sure to ask you, like, different questions as well, but, like, how? How do you do it? How do you do it? <laughs> it's been a myriad of different paths. <laughs> no, I mean, but obviously, I mean, when I was 17, I said I had my nose job. I mean, well, I couldn't have any extra money, really. I was waiting tables at a country How much club. Is a nose job? My first one was cheap. I was in North Carolina. So okay. I paid thirty-five hundred dollars for my first one. Okay. But then I paid as much as fifteen thousand. So and I had five months jobs. Yeah. Outside of that, like yes, I've had I've had partners offer me like you know what do you want for your birthday and I'm like oh, I want pecs and they were like what you want pecs like, yeah I want pecs they're like, okay I guess if you want it now they're always like you know good partners as they would say they always say no you don't need it oh. I said that's okay I'm not asking no, for that's, you that's, one. that's a proof of like real like, partnership and love you know so uh, my birthday is on in Jan on January so I'm You're gonna, gonna ask, ask for pecs no I'm gonna ask Travis hey Travis I want I want I want scrotox. You know? Okay. And wow, you're a cheap date. Cheap. <laughs> How much is scrotox? Cheap. Well, I mean, in the spectrum of what you could have asked for. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, Botox doesn't cost that much. Yeah. I mean, you're talking a few hundred bucks. What? Less than a thousand dollars for some scrotox. For scrotox. sure. Scrotox. Maybe five hundred bucks. I bet. Guys, if this video gets five thousand likes, I'm gonna get scro scro what's called scrotox. Scrotox. Are you, scrotox. Are you gonna film it? I would totally film it. Uh huh. Like, you know, it takes like ten days for it to set in the paralysis. And it says that you have like weightier balls, that you're supposed to have more pleasure if you do it, that it gets rid of the, all the, wrink the wrinkles in the scrotum. Like I never cared about, like I never even paid attention to my balls. Maybe I should. Maybe that's a takeaway of this video. I'm learning so many things. Maybe well, that's one, why you're gonna have to hire someone to do it. Maybe for one you. big takeaway is that I should pay more attention to my balls. Yeah, there's a, there's yeah. a girl here in Santa Monica, she is ball ironing. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm learning a whole new world yeah. opening up for me right now. Yeah, so basically, like, you know how you'd iron out wrinkles? Yeah. Right? Yeah, so she basically takes a CO2 laser and burns your whole scrotum. <laughs> so that you have a third degree burn and then you have, like, fresh skin. So she, she claims that that helps get rid of the wrinkles. I'm like I mean, I'm not saying I believe I'm it. now getting into the whole beauty stuff because I, like, honestly, I gotta be completely honest with you. With you. Until I was 23, so like two, three years ago, yeah. I never even used anything on my, like no moisturizer even, yeah. ever. But you did I, I think I got it. Thank you. Th I eat healthy. I think that's the one thing I really 12, have going for me. You now? At 26. Okay, 12. Yeah, yeah. I'm 40 now. you 40. 40. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Well, mm. I would have guessed that, but um, yeah. You still have a, you, you, you definitely kept your juvenile energy as well. Thanks. Yeah, I think actually that's the biggest thing, right? Awesome. Even beyond looks, it's like it's your take on life. It's it is. your energy no, and how energy. you relate to other people. You know why you seem younger? Not only because of your skin or whatever. It's also because like when you talk, you've got that like, almost like a kid that like animated, you know, energy I still feel like yeah. But everyone says that, but I do. I definitely and still And you feel don't like have a kid. Like, can you make a, do you know the plastic surgery, like the Botox face? Like, you don't have that really, you have still very a lot of expressions going on, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I have some freezer, right? The yeah. forehead, eyes, but I mean, I still have some expression. So I don't, I don't freeze everything. Yeah. As contrary to what everybody else would think. Okay, do the fake muscle translate to strength? We just saw that. They no. fucking do. They <laughs> fucking do. We killed, we destroyed. Uh, You're strong though. No. <laughs> do you mind? No, go ahead. <laughs> but the thing is also, people think I'm strong because mm. I might look strong. Sure. I'm not strong. Liar. I'm not strong. You just have beach muscles. I have beach muscles. I swear to God. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's like, I can do, and swear to God, I can do maybe five pull-ups. Yeah. Well, I'm actually planning a video with my friend Travis, and because uh, he's done some plastic surgery. You should open up a, a GoFundMe account, guys. Guys, so GoFundMe, go. So guys, if this video gets 5,000 likes, <laughs> I'm gonna get <laughs> no, I, think, I actually think like my body, like my pecs are pretty strong relative to my body. What's very weak is my back. Like I, f I feel like I can definitely. I see your lats though. You have nice lats. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I had lats and then I had them fishing. taken out. You did, right? Yeah. yeah. What is the best thing of recording with Mario? I don't know the answer. I mean, like, he's shirtless, so that definitely helps. I mean, if you uh, have my <laughs> yeah. I'm currently shooting a documentary where I'm trying to get into the porn industry called yeah. Breaking Into Porn. Okay. And my issue's been like, you know, I mean, I, I don't know, like, when I look porn, watch porn, it makes me feel a little bit insecure sometimes because, like, sure. I see that and then I look down, I'm like, I mean, I know, like, statistically, like, four and a half inches is enough. <laughs> but, like, 
But at the same time, I'm like, is it enough for porn? Is it enough for porn, right? right? Well, are you trying to get into gay porn or straight porn? And you could always do anal instead of worrying about being well, a top. Yeah, it's you want to be it's a top. documentary. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't all have to be penis centric. But, you know, there are lots of things you can do, like ligament cuts on your penis to get, like, an extra, like, zero to two inches, they say. Okay. Yes. Zero to two <laughs> They promised so zero to two <laughs> inches on That's a ligament great. cut. But they did years and years and years and years ago. They've, they've been doing that, right? But you can potentially have diminished angle. So the erection potentially may not go as high as it oh. used to. Or you can use like a stretcher, like I have one that goes around my leg, and you like bungee cord it to this no, apparatus you, you that attaches that? to your dick. So you have, a, you have a stretcher that attaches yeah. to your dick leg. Like, yeah, and it goes you down know. to your leg, and you stretch it all, and the idea is that you're stretching the tissue and stretching the ligament without cutting. I have OnlyFans, I yeah. Know. Yeah. yeah. You also have OnlyFans, right? I do have an OnlyFans yeah. now. <laughs> Guys, subscribe below to our OnlyFans. <laughs> no, somebody said we should record an OnlyFans video together. Bro job. I mean, the behind the scenes, I can probably use that for your OnlyFans. Also. That's true. Yeah, yeah you could. Yeah. It's a behind the scenes. It's yeah. artistic. What do, you, what do you do specifically on, on OnlyFans? Um, I, well, my idea behind it was to show the people things that they couldn't see other places yeah. as, as they pertain to aesthetics, plastic mm -hmm. surgery, stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, like, I give people a little bit more uh, on a suggested level than they would see yeah. on a normal Instagram post or Facebook post. Okay. But, like, I, I, like, I recently I had a video up there, like, where I was, like, had microneedling done on my dick. So, like, I show okay. that, but it's educational. It's educational. Wait, so, you can't okay. find that anywhere else. Who okay. else is going to post that? I, I what never, doctor can they can't no. even show it to you on Dude, the I've been looking, I've been looking through the internet to get some good footage of my needling on dicks. Yes. I couldn't find anything. I, so now now, I now, I now I know where to go. That's yeah. So my needling, what does it mean specifically? Because you can do it on your face, right? Yes. I did it on my face and after that I had the practitioner do it on my dick. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> So awesome. like no, they just they go through. I had the heat one yeah. where they where they take the the press the needles down with the heat, and then they do that in like like waffling on oh down your God. skin, and then after that I had the micro needling done with the with the dermal pen. Okay. And they go like a tattoo and go oh, all over shit. it. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, I had the pee shot done at that same session. So they wait, take wait, your, wait, this make the pee shot. Oh, yeah. What's the pee shot? So pee shot is where they take your platelets, your your own blood. Yeah. They spit it in the centrifuge. Oh, I've heard that. Yeah. They take the blood platelets out and they re-inject your own platelets that are supposedly have stem cells yeah which uh, are supposed to help when injected into the penis with like increased erections uh, increased vascularity more sensitivity they claim that you can gain some size from it temporarily you know for okay. a period of months okay so there's a lot of claims out there I don't know mm -hmm. that I buy all of it but it can't hurt you at the end of the day so okay I mean I'm it down to try it okay no, good. it's your own body wow yeah so they do like an injection into the shaft and an injection into the the head. That's beautiful. Wow. Wait, can you feel the muscle implants? Like, can you feel? Not the ones in my dick. Not the ones in your dick. <laughs> I don't have implants in my dick. Just well, you don't. Oh, just injections. Injections. There are implants for the dick. Okay, sorry. We, we didn't go over that. We, we skipped. There's we more. We keep coming back to the dick. There's the dick more. is like the whole. Okay, there's like a whole thing to unpack. Here I mean, I just walked around naked for like six hours. You did. You shoot. did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're. Can you? Can I feel around? Yeah. No. This just. It feels integrated to me. It, it, it's all I know, right? Yeah. So you get used to it after a while. Like when I had my back implants, that was a little strange. Like every morning I'd wake up and feel like I was sleeping on a remote control or something. Oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, but I mean, you, you, it becomes the new norm, and oh, therefore, yeah. you know, it it's just like, it's it like, feels it's like, like it's you. It's like wearing masks and having dick implants. It's like, at some point, you just get used to it. <laughs> For me. It's a terrible, I suck at <laughs> I, 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 I suck at that. I suck at that. I don't it's know like, if COVID masks equate dick penis implants. Penis dick implants. Mm. I mean, it's a stretch, but hey, we can, you know. Rick, it's a <laughs> really long stretch. But how about functionality? Like, can you, with implants, can you still, like, get fully erect and... Uh, with what I've done, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> I can't speak for everybody. Okay. I mean, of course, there's there's a potential for like decreased vascularity if you're putting something into the tissue. So it's oh, awesome. You also told me this this story about your the cruise you went on and about the vascularity you can get in, uh, the, the injection for like local. Because I tried Max. I tried Viagra yes. in my last vlog for and the you saw blue, documentary. right? And it's and like pressure in your head. Like, and your eyes are bloodshot. My eyes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. My, well, my, try Cialis next cold. time, maybe. And if okay. that doesn't work, you can use Trimax. Trimax. I'm, take, I'm taking cool. notes here. You know, you're gonna teach me how to live, by the way. <laughs> but with the Trimax, you have to like be able to like measure it out. You gotta do it with your with your uh, with your doctor, right? So they get yeah. the right dose for you, and then you <laughs> you inject it into your penis. So wait, you go before we go out, you inject into your dick, and then you just walk around and just have more. Yeah, you wouldn't even need a cock ring. You'd be You'd be really at uh, can you make that sound? Can you make that sound again? That was fantastic. I like that. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm a pro. <laughs> I went to Burning Man a few times and just like I walk around there and you see all these like massive schlongdongs walking around. They had a nudist party, you know? Okay. And they're on their bicycles and stuff and like they're just like slamming and slanging and some of them are just and I was like, how do they do it? So maybe some of them are using that. Try so Max and Burning Man, isn't Burning Man really dirty? It's like in it the desert, right? Dirty, yeah. But maybe yeah. next time I can go out. But you and have go. to make sure that area is really clean. If you're gonna do that, you get an yeah. infection in your dick, and it's gonna yeah. fall off. I'm, okay, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do any dick falling off things. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Justin Timberlake or Justin Bieber? Timberlake, I guess. Bieber's just a little grungy now. Cute. Yo, I we're trying to vlog here, okay? Can you please shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> How about both? What is something that people misunderstand about you? I think the number one thing that people assume is from the little bit they see on television that I'm going to be perfectionistic with myself and moreover perfectionistic about the people that I would surround myself with. So yeah. the idea is that I'd be a narcissist, yeah. right? That I would be um, shallow and superficial and kind of walk around my nose in the air and ignore everyone around me yeah. unless I guess they would build like a brick shit house or yeah. you know, we're a 10 on the scale of looks, whatever that means. Yeah. But that's not me by any means. As you can see from today, like I was like getting dirty and being crazy and you just have to kind of not give a fuck what other people care about. And I love your positivity, you know? I hate that sometimes because honestly we all have those stereotypes whenever we see somebody and for me as a model it was the same thing you know sure. I didn't want to tell people I was modeling because whenever I told people they were like oh Mario you were such a douchebag you'd be arrogant you'd be dumb right yeah. so I love breaking those stereotypes that's why I love going out to people on the street and just like you know smiling at them sharing some positivity sure which I hate I hate those fucking stereotypes and I think it's also the same with you or with the image well, that's, you have uh, and it's true you know? yeah I always try to tell people like I always preach like the power of plastic positivity right because everybody yeah. knows me about the plastic yeah, yeah so I kind of try to phrase it like that you know is that everybody can define beauty for themselves I don't try to say that my way is it's the right better, way right? or that in, in fact like my standard of beauty should be upkept by anyone else in fact yeah. I want it to be specifically for myself so that I look distinctive and different and I don't want like other people to, to buy into whatever they think my notion of beauty is yeah it's not the Western ideal of beauty like I I, I yeah. decide like how I want to look and, and if I like looking a bit done or plastic over accentuated I live for that but I yeah. don't expect the rest of the world to buy into that yeah and I love it that you just own whatever the fuck you do you know yeah. because you know that people are gonna have opinions about shit and that's always no matter what you do like this video I'm gonna upload there's gonna be some people out there that have some shit to say but at the end of the day I think if you're authentic and if you're like own it like you do sure I think that's great because you're not you're not hurting anybody, well, you, you know what I mean? Which excuses for the things you love in your life. No, yeah. and I'm lucky enough that I found a passion. I was always super artsy. I loved yeah. like, painting, sketching, sculpting as a kid. Yeah. And so it was kind of like this weird natural progression where, you know, my interest in, in like plastic surgery and wanting to fix something when I didn't have my first nose job. After that, I started re researching more about body modifications and the things that people were doing to alter things. And that whole idea that I had the ability to be able to like change my body and moreover design my implants. Yeah. It was just the next step in like, in, in, in building on, on my design capability, right? On my artistic yeah. creative side. So that's how I always looked at it. It didn't come totally. from a place of me thinking that I wasn't enough or I didn't look right. It came from a place of loving the creativity that comes along with body modification. I love that, yeah. So what's your goal also with like, your body image, like where do you, because I think to me, honestly, I mean, you look pretty damn like, Aw, thanks. you know what I mean? Like yeah, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't find any, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know that I have a goal, and there's there's no, there's no like end point, I guess, yeah. if that's what you're like poking at. You know, people always ask me that question, but to me that would be like asking like Picasso, like, you know, telling him, you know, we already saw you paint that painting, like put down the paintbrush, move on to something else. Like you just don't tell someone who's creative and artistic that to do that, right? Yeah. Like they may have a certain MO, something that they're known for a particular style, yeah. but they continue to create, right? Yeah. And so for, when people say like, is there any time you're going to stop doing this? No. Do I know where it's going to progress to? No, not exactly. Different things inspire me, like yeah. when I travel or I meet different people or I see other people mm -hmm. who are modifying and I'm like, wow, that would be really cool. I want to try that out. You know, just for the life experience and nothing else. Okay. You know, like we talked the other day about how I did scrotox. Well, it's a temporary. Well, did yeah. I really want to paralyze my balls and have them hang down to my knees? That's no. something I didn't understand but, did the scrotox. I wanted to try it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, bucket list items, we all have them, you know? I want to skydive. Some people want <laughs> you to You haven't have done it yet? Some people want to have their balls hang a little bit lower, you know? I mean, it's like... <laughs> 
after some a people long have, so Some people have <laughs> Yeah. Yo, have you, Evan, have you ever gone like uh, like off the cliffs in Rio? Like hang gliding off the cliffs, run and jump off the cliffs? No. Babe, you haven't done that? You need to. And you haven't skydived? No. You have to. no. Well, I'll have to take you doing some things. You have to take me doing that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Botox? I'm not sure about that. So you're fine with jumping out of the oh airplane but not getting Botox inside your testicles? Botox? I've never done Botox, right? Yeah. Mm. So I'm, I don't know, like probably there's nothing about it, but I, I'm just afraid. Mm. Remember at Burning Man when I was there, right? I saw all the penises. <laughs> and there was one guy who literally had his ball sex and one was hanging significantly lower than the other one. Uh -oh. And he was on a bicycle. And yeah. in my head, and I, I'm not even gonna fuck why I didn't bring this up. <laughs> I have this thing like, I was gonna get caught in this book. Yes! Oh! 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 It uh, burns, it, it's still like to this day I have like these flashbacks, you know, oh, I'd be talking to you and then all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> like, it's like, it's like, Harry, it's like Harry Potter's, it's like Harry Potter's, um, you know, when he sees Voldemort or something, mm. his scar starts burning, my balls just start like, oh, no, whenever. It's not going to be like, my <laughs> No. <laughs> There's no of the rings though. Oh, sorry. Oh, people ask you a, lot of, a shit ton of questions, right? What's one question you want people to ask you, but they never ask you? Like people always ask like, aren't you worried about the risks or the complications? I think uh, the interesting, more interesting question question for me would be if one of your surgeries led you to pass what would you hope that your eulogy that your that your that your life would have meant and what what potentially could you have accomplished because people don't think that what you're trying to do what I'm trying to do would have any sort of lasting effect in a positive way right yeah it's so like for me I know like as I started doing the consulting right that just came organically from doing the media then people started saying oh can you help me yeah. you know find a doctor and then it was like can you design implants for me and it's been really cool and rewarding for me to be able to work with people who suffer from like Poland's disease and they're born without a pec muscle yeah or um, you know people who've gone through like boating accidents and their legs been mangled and they're looking to try to regain some symmetry and regain some sense of confidence and self-esteem yeah. and I think like a lot of what I've done as a pioneer in the field of plastic surgery like having had procedures that everyone said you know no one's gonna do this and it's not gonna work and now like people have the ability to be able to help themselves not just cosmetically but also in a reconstructive way yeah and that you know there is there is something to be said about it instilling confidence and self-esteem and being able to help people in that sort of a way. That's exciting for me, doing yeah. something new and different and also having it being able to be used for people in a positive way. Because you were the first person ever to get, what is it called, leg, leg implants, right? Um, well, I don't have them yet, I'm getting them this week. So your legs are natural, right? They're right, got, right now they're natural. You got some, like, you got some muscle here. Well, they're gonna you know be I mean? bigger. They're gonna be bigger. <laughs> so you're gonna put like leg implants here and then... I have one, two, three, four on could each you, leg. Could you participate in the body? Bodybuilding competition, like theoretically. You know what? Is there like a, is there I have like worked. Rules? I have worked on a decent number of bodybuilders, actually, competitive bodybuilders. For real? Yeah. Well, there aren't really rules against get, it because they get checked for like testosterone, steroids, but not, but not for like implants. Correct. Well, they haven't amended the rules to include that because most people don't think it's even possible. How or, cool would it be if in. you, like, go old, six year old, what we said, right, mm. Mr. Olympia, like Arnold, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> <him> like a <laughs> But I think you look well balanced. You don't look too. There's some bodybuilders I think that look more unnatural than you do. You know what I mean? So like I, I oh, I'm offended. I, I think. You, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean clearly, right? Just like, it's like when people look at me and go, you know, I never would have guessed you had anything in. I'm like, fuck, I should have gone bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I like being known for that. That is so that's interesting. My that's my shit. That's my shit. Wow, that's fascinating. Then if someone just says, oh, I never would have guessed. It's like, you're just erasing all of my fucking art. Yeah. Anything I ever created, you're saying, well, you could have just, that's, I just thought that was you naturally. Ah, it hurt. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. How can I make it up for you? <laughs> Tell me I look fake. Hey, hey, hey. What do you do for fun? Like, what's your, what gives you happiness in life? Like, what's... I love traveling. Does yeah. that count? Yeah, yeah. 100%, yeah, for yeah, sure. I travel yeah. a ton. My surgeries give me a lot of pleasure, right? Yeah. I like designing stuff for other people. I love interior design. Like, I want to do some more house reno flips. Yeah. So most people don't think I would do that stuff because it gets your hands dirty, I'm but I love that. that. Yeah, I'm thinking about that too. And when you travel, like, what's the best... Because I lived in Korea, right? I told you, like, in Gangnam. And Korea is crazy. Like, I think 35% of women in Korea had island surgery done. Right, the like, westernization you know, of the Westernization, yeah. We yeah, where I was living in Gangnam, in Gangnam, next to the place I was living at, they had a place for vaginal surgery yes. where you can read like your, 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 no, your hymen. Because mm. if you lose your virginity, it's considered something like bad or something in Korea. Right. So you can get your virginity back in a way, you know? Wow. Have you ever considered but vaginal, then it doesn't vaginal rejuvenation? I mean, I have a yeah. pussy, but I don't have a pussy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know what a bussy is? A bussy? A bussy. I thought a bussy was like the, um, we call it bussy in Germany. It's uh, like when you give somebody like a, a, a loving kiss. It's a bussy. It's definitely not what a bussy is. No? What's a bussy? No. I'm a learning. Bussy. I'm fucking German. A Every time I talk to people, is, I have a vocabulary. It's, it's like replace pussy with a B, so it's a it's a boy pussy. Oh, it's your butt, babe. It's your butt. Oh, right. You still have some some bits to learn. I'm a very innocent vanilla German, by the way, and I live in Los Angeles, so there's lots uh, of things I have to learn. Thanks for teaching me that. You know, <laughs> I'm, take, I'm taking notes here. I have friends who've had their badge redone, but I don't have and, a badge. So. And, and, and in terms of like, where do you get your surgery done? Do you like travel to specific doctors? I've or? always done my surgeries in the states, but it depends on what I'm doing. So like, sometimes I want to I, I want to now find specialists. Like when I had back implants, they're okay, nobody in the world does back implants, right? I'm the first person. But I found a guy who specialized in rebuilding breasts using the latissimus muscle and, and they, they flap it from under your arm to the front and rebuild the breasts where they cut out like tumors and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. So I was like, that's the guy I want to do my back implants. Crazy, so I yeah. try to hone in on that area and find a specialist that way. Oh. Janiel is asking, she actually works for West Side Aesthetics okay. where Travis gets his Botox. Yep. She's asking, what's your, what's your favorite procedure you've ever gotten? This I mean, one's for you, Janiel, we love you. Well, she's saying procedure, procedure. If she works for a med spa, she means like skin wise, or she's talking like, I mean, to me, procedure is anything cosmetic, really. Yeah, I think so, so even with the scalpel. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it would have to be like one of the ones that I designed. So, like, my shoulders uh, were super cool, I thought at the time, no one did it, right? So, I yeah. like one, two, three pieces, and, and then I had the back pieces, like, those would be cool. And now my legs, I mean, I guess that, that would have to be it. I'm, I'm like an implant guy. Because now you're going to, actually, tonight you have a flight to catch, right? I do yeah. have to catch my flight. You have to catch flight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're gonna get the, the full leg thing you're The full, do. full leg augmentation. If you were asking, like, how, how did it get started? Like, where did the motivation come from, or what's your motivation? It was a multitude of things, right? So, I, I know when I, I grew up like a kid of like lower income family, and so for me, like I remember like idealizing iconic figures like Joan Rivers, Michael Jackson, Dolly Parton, and to me, like ideally idealizing them because they were famous, yes, but also because of their talent, but also because of their money, and I yeah. wanted to be like those people okay. when I was a kid, right? This made sense to me when I was a kid, and so in my brain, if I could. If I could look like those people, if I could fake it until I made it, yeah. right? Then that could be like a leg in the door to meeting the one percent of the one percent, and maybe like marrying a rich husband and moving myself up in the world and yeah. being able to meet people. I mean, you've done. You live in LA now. You know, you have a house here. I've done okay. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, so that was part of it. The other part was, like I said, the, the creativity and the artistry for me was super exciting. Yeah. And then the, the last part of it was sort of that you know, as a teen, like it was. I, I just felt like I, I was kind of effeminate and flamboyant. Yeah. And I was growing up in the south and I just felt like everybody was always saying where did you learn how to talk like that and I didn't oh, really feel a lot of acceptance so I used to always drink out of a glass when I was a kid and drink like this and my dad used to come up and smash my finger up against the glass and it took years before I realized what he was doing because I guess drinking with your pinky out was was gay yeah I don't know I was doing that was but it took a long time yeah. I mean I just thought that was proper I thought yeah, that's yeah, what rich people did exactly. uh, it looks so it was kind of like the accumulation of, of the accumulation of all of that stuff you know made me it made me want to rebel, I think, against society, against against my dad, against my parents, and people who always told me that I wasn't enough or I wasn't right. And you're trying to, you know, change yourself. You know, you're trying to make a round round peg fit into a square hole. Like yeah. it's not happening, right? And every time I tried to alter myself to to be more like everyone else, to try to seem like yeah. to fit in, to dim my shine down, my yeah. differences, take them away. I was less happy, and I yeah. still didn't find acceptance from other people because it was still awkward and not yeah, real. So it wasn't it was true. Yeah. So after a while, you know, it was like, you know what? I'm gonna do what I want to do when I want to do it, and I'm gonna rub it in your face. Yeah. And I'm gonna do it to 120 percent and scream it from the rooftop. And yeah. I'm going to not only not only do I know that I'm different, I'm gonna make myself so different that you're never gonna forget my face. And you you're never going to mistake me for anyone yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I found power in making myself different intentionally, not just being birthed that. Way, but making that conscious decision to be like a very distinctive and different individual and not wanting to actually be part of the masses and not wanting to be affiliated or associated with those people who really didn't want to have me in their I love that. I love yeah. that. I think it's so fucking powerful because many people feel that way. Sure. It doesn't have to be about like being gay or whatever, but like many people have that impulse, something they want to do, but then you have society. Like when I was starting to model, I was, you know, people expect me to go to school. I had this very like given path. Sure. And then I was doing things differently a little bit, but I was still trying to please everybody. And I wasn't happy. 
But then I was like, fuck it. You guys are gonna judge me for not for not going to college, for yeah. pursuing modeling in New York, even though I did well in school. I fucking did it, totally. and it made me happy. And yeah. I love that's a great message. And uh, yeah, that's what you have to do. You have yeah. to do what makes you happy yeah. in that moment. And you know, and the chips will fall where and they I may. And I love that you fucking own it. You know, you own it I so much. It's really cool. baby. You know, and I love also. I gotta say, before, of course, when I looked at your social media, of course you have some expectation of how somebody's gonna be. Sure. You fucking like. <laughs> like, broke it's, it's so cool to see that, you know, that's why I always say you should get to know the real person before you judge people online Definitely. Because I hate that online now. It's especially with cancel culture and everything. It's such a climate where we fucking It's so negative, you know, we tend to like always Find the negative thing bring people down because that's what's rewarded right now on social media with sure. the top comments So um, yeah, thanks I for, agree with you. Thanks for breaking that. Yeah, yeah thank breaking you. Know, All right guys, I think that wraps it up for this video. You can find Justin. I put his Instagram handle right here. Yeah. Any parting words, any words of inspiration you have for... No real know. words of inspiration. Be yourself, love who you are and do what you love. And that's the only way that you'll be happy in your life. Yeah. That's great. That's, yeah. that's fantastic. Cheers guys. Like and subscribe. So I made like a thousand dollars not having to suck a casting director's dick, metaphorically or physically, but from making my own content.